Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here. I am in Sapa, and this is in the northwest region of Vietnam, high in the mountains. And uh, in the evenings, it gets pretty chilly, and so people like to eat really hot, warm foods. So tonight, we're gonna have a really famous dish that's well known from Sapa. So this restaurant here behind me is highly recommended by Vietnamese people when you come to Sapa. So if you guys wanna know where this is, definitely check the description box down below. Let's go check it out. This dish that they have here, it's a giant hot pot and it's filled with organs from a horse. There's like intestines, there's blood cubes, you got kidneys, there's all kinds of different things in there. It smells really good because of the seasoning for the broth. And the broth has like cardamom, there's like star anise, I can smell all kinds of stuff in here. It's just like sensory overload on my nose. Like pungent is the wrong word because pungent sounds terrible, but it's very strong. And I think part of that smell is the gaminess of the intestines. And uh, I'm very excited because I do love organs. You guys know me. If you've seen my previous videos, I eat all kinds of stuff. And so this is gonna be really, really cool. It gets very cold in the evenings. So this kind of a hearty hot pot stew definitely helps warm you from the inside out. And the thing to do while you're eating this specific dish here in Sapa is to drink the traditional corn wine. And so they gave us this, uh, looks like a sake bottle, but um, little sake cups. And this is corn wine. And this is what most of the people drink while eating this dish. All right, we've reached boiling point. Look at that, that's so awesome. Okay, so the green leaf that I thought was a spinach is actually like a star gooseberry leaf. That's uh, according to Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. I've seen it everywhere, I just didn't know what it was. But this is like one of the most common green leaf things you can find in Southeast Asia. It's used in so many different dishes. And it's good. It reminds me of spinach, sort of. I am never one to turn down blood. And so we got some of the blood cube here. This is horse blood. And you guys know me, I love my sauces, my dipping sauces. And this specific one here that they gave us reminds me of the one I had in Thailand. It's extremely spicy. Dip that blood cube in there. This is really hot. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. There's a bit more of a gaminess to this blood. Um, I think just because it's horse, it tastes a little bit different from beef blood or pork blood, but I can definitely tell that it's a little bit more gamey and a little bit more kind of like an irony taste, but not bad, I like that. It's so hot. Oh my God. Mm. Check out this piece of horse, guys. You can see the skin and the layer of fat amongst the meat there. It's like a sandwich of the epidermis. Mm. First thing I noticed right away, it's pretty tough to chew. But actually, this one's not bad. I was expecting more of a gamey taste. I haven't had horse in a very long time. I have had raw horse in Japan. So this is my first time having cooked horse meat. Tofu. It's really noisy right now. A lot of people just showed up to the restaurant. It was like a party of 20. 
and there's like a party of 10 outside in traffic. There's really hard like cartilage on this thing, but we're gonna go ahead and eat it because cartilage is edible. That's the cartilage. I think what's making all of this like pretty tasty is of course the broth. Like it's just infusing everything with that like really strong smell and taste. Like I'm shaking <laughs> trying to hold this. Very rubbery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is very gamey. It tastes like the grass smell from the farm. Like, that's how gamey it is. But you can tell that this horse ate some pretty good stuff up here in the mountains. There's amazing lush vegetation up in here in this, like, whole region. So, I'm just, like, absorbing sapa through a horse. All right, I'm gonna pour my girlfriend some of the rice wine here. Here you go. Got it? All right, I'm gonna do cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, that is very strong. That's stronger than sake. Ooh, man, the corn alcohol, it's, it's like grain alcohol, you know? Like this is like Sapa Mountain moonshine, essentially. Like that, I think that's exactly what this is. This is literally like moonshine. <laughs> Ooh. Do you know moonshine? Already? Am I already getting pink? Really? <laughs> I only had one sip. Maybe it's because the steam is blowing right at my face. Man, we got a whole thing of this. I'm gonna get pretty trashed by the end of this video, guys. <laughs> Let's get lit. What else can we try in here? Is that brain? Brain? Brain. Ooh, did you hear how excited I was when I discovered that it was brain? I haven't had brain in a while. I can't remember the last time I had brain. I've only had sheep's brain. I don't recall having cow's brain. And this, my friends, is horse brain. Brains, yes. I'm probably gonna do something really stupid. So brain is soft and it's kind of like tofu. When it's really hot, it retains heat. So my dumbass, I'm gonna probably stick the whole thing in my mouth and burn it, but horse brain. Yep, very hot. Ooh. But, wow. It's like, it melts right in your mouth. Mm. Sorry, I'm still recovering from how hot it is. Oh. Okay, there we go. Nice, it went down. Very creamy, very soft. Like, you could probably drink that through a straw. Easily, very easily. And it tastes like the broth, like I said before with the other things. So that, that like really helps you to be able to consume all the things in this dish. Let's go ahead and wash that brain down with some corn alcohol. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's good, I promise you it's good. <laughs> I normally don't drink strong liquor. I'm a beer kind of a guy, or a, like a wine kind of a guy, but liquor, like whiskey, tequila, vodka, like I used to drink that stuff in my like, in my teens and early 20s, but like after like 22, I was like, mm, no more. Too much partying, way too much tequila and whiskey, yeah. So um, I pretty much I've avoided it uh, for at least 16, 17 years. Cheers, guys. <laughs> it's good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drink this. I'm not gonna eat anything. No, just kidding. I will I will eat. I'm hungry. 
I can kind of already feel the toastiness, the fire rising from my belly and entering my bloodstream. Mm. All right, some more horse meat right here. This is just meat only with a little bit of layer of fat on there. What's that? Is that liver? We gotta have the liver. Mm, thank you. If you guys are curious about horse meat itself, it's very similar to beef. Like, not kidding. It's very similar to beef. It's a little bit tougher, not as tender as beef, but um, just as good, full of flavor, really yummy. Like, I would totally eat horse again. Uh, here's the horse liver, nice and steamy. You can see it's steaming hot. I, I'm not really a fan of cooked liver. I love raw liver, but cooked liver, mm, it's okay, but not, not, not a big fan. Mm. Okay, just try it all. Tastes like cooked liver. Actually though, this is a little bit different. With other liver that's like cooked, like pan fried and stuff, when you're eating it, it kind of tastes like dry. This is actually super moist, like every bite is full of juice. And it's all thanks to that broth. I need to balance out some of that horse meat and organs with some greens. and some tofu. Mm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put in some of the rice noodle things here. Look at that, like a pro. You don't just dunk it in, you put it in the little, the ladle. You put it in the ladle with the soup. And you let that cook up a little bit. And my guess is that they're gonna unravel and become like really flat and wide noodles. Yeah, there we go, that's what I was talking about. They did unravel. Some of the ingredients that are in this broth are the exact same ingredients that are used in pho. And so to have the noodles in here, it's like pho horse meat. So I'm just gonna let you guys know, it's very hard to film when you're eating in front of like steamy things. Um, the steam always gets right up on the lens, it fogs up and then you have to wait for it to cool down um, so that you know it clears up. So actually behind the scenes, you guys probably don't see this, but I'm blowing softly towards the steam so that it doesn't come towards the lens. Oh, you're making a little mini bowl of pho. Wow, thank you. Look at that. Am I slurring already, guys? I don't know, I, I feel like I'm talking funny, like I'm saying weird stuff. But this, this, my friends, looks awesome. And it, and it smells so good, oh my God. I just wanna try the noodles by themselves. Mmm, flat rice noodles, that's good. So my girlfriend and I are gonna be brutally honest about this dish. It is gamey. For me, it's not a problem, but maybe for a lot of you guys who might be coming to Sapa and you wanna try this, but you might be surprised that it's actually really gamey. Um, so yeah, just a heads up. Um, we like this dish, but we don't like it enough to order it like all the time. You know, this is one of those things like when you come to Sapa, you gotta try it and that's what we're doing. And it's, it's well worth it, but um, I don't think we'll probably order this until the next time we're in Sapa, or next time we're in Sapa, who knows, maybe we'll just skip this. We definitely wanted to uh, eat this for you guys on film, and just like try it out. You know, you gotta try it out. Some more blood cubes. Mm -hmm. I like the blood. Yum, yum. Oh. 
Wow. Cheers, guys. Pinky out. <laughs> it's so strong. <sighs> yeah, that's it. I can't eat anymore, guys. I'm stuffed and I'm slightly drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm a little bit toasty and I'm very full. Uh, it was good, it was good food. Definitely uh, worth trying. I probably wouldn't have it again for a long time. Um, that's just being honest with you guys. But uh, if you guys wanna know anything and everything about this restaurant and the dish, it's gonna be in the description box down below. So check that out. And so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, do all the social media followings and all that cool stuff. Uh, I hope I'm not slurring and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!